Life is the name of the picture drawn in a pencil, no part of which can be removed, whichever. On a your person, respect and sit case, respect and distant case, all the other case, panel of judges, all the participants and non-participants, all the members of organizer, all the media personalities and ladies and gentlemen. Namaste, my sister Mala, I would like to extend my good evening. Today I am going to tell about the speech. We can take many examples of it, but Muniba Mazari is one of them. Do you know who is the Iron Media of Pakistan? Muniba Mazari is known as the Iron Media of Pakistan. Why she became the Iron Lady? It's a story of her. It's a story of a woman who is pursuit of her dreams and aspiration made other people realize that if you think that your life is hard and you are giving up on that, think again. Because when you think that way, you are being unfair to your own self. They call it adversity, I call it opportunity. They call it weakness, I call it strength. Muniba Mazari was 18 years old when she got married. And this thing, her happiness, for the very first time on an international level, she was belonged to a very conservation family, a balanced family. Well, good daughters never said no to their parents. Her father wanted to get her married. And also said that if that makes her happy, she would say yes. After nine years, she had an accident with her husband. Some year, her husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. Her husband managed to jump out to save himself, but she unable to take out from here. She lost her lane of control, that's why she always wears the back wherever she go. That injury made her life change. Her three vertebrae of her backbone were completely crossed and she got paralyzed in her rest of her life. So this accident took place in a far from areas in the outskirts of a very small balance. Well, there was no hospital, no ambulance and no foresight. All the people came home to save. They gave her CPR. One day she was lying on her bed. Then doctor came to her room and told you aim is to be a painter but you can't paint. Because you have no legs ability. But you have uh, but you have to work in a wheelchair. Moreover, you can't give a bot. After hearing this, she started to cry. And told her mother, why am I here? Why am I alive? Why God choose me? And her mother replied that a God have a good plan in your life. The next day her husband gave a divorce. After a couple of months, she was sitting on her wheelchair. She tried to make painting. She was able to make a good one. She had never given up her work, hard work, hope and trust from her mom. She had completed her painting where she had done in hospital. All the people came to see her painting. Then she believed that luck is not everything which we need. Hard working is needed in which people must have. Don't care about the world, they always dare to support the good people. Always believe in hard work if you can. You can do everything because everything is possible you do. This was a motivational story from the Muniba Mazari. Never discriminate to the people by the disability. By saying this, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a good day.